we continue with our teaching titled Dancing with Stoppers. Thank you for joining us and be blessed as you listen. Listen, read that thing again in New Living Translation. In New Living Translation, Luke chapter 16, verse 11 to 12. 11 to 12. And if you are untrustworthy uh-huh. about worldly wealth, about worldly wealth, who will trust you with the true riches of heaven? Who will trust you with the riches of heaven? You are untrustworthy with your tithe, with your offering, with uh, praying for other people, with uh, serving God. You, you don't want, even when you serve God, you do it. Uh, like, you know, in Namibia here, let me say this before you continue. In Namibia here, it's our church now, and I'm warning you, all you that are church workers, all those who left the church, they have you on target. They are working with some people here to pull you out one by one. They believe that if they pull you out, the church will collapse. Their headquarters is in uh, Rocky Crest. The one who calls himself a lawyer and the rest of them. That's their, they are moving up and down, looking for you. They, once they see the fire arrow, yes, they want to pull you out and all your labor will be wasted because this church can never fall. Never. They want you to end up like them. They are targeting every church worker. Why? Because they have been dancing with stoppers for too long. And they are now paying the price. And their price will never stop until they repent. You better wake up. One arrow, they throw you out. God will replace you. May God not replace you. If you don't make somebody profit for the labor he pays you for, you deny yourself profit in life. Yes. If you, you, it's only in Namibia I see somebody. Hey, the, somebody, I came to an office to buy something. He said, ah, that, those people, they have too much money. Hey, just pay this amount. I said, ah. I was saying, this amount, is that the price of the thing? Or this woman, want, he hates his employer so much that he wants, he wants me to join in, in sinning, in buying the thing as I walked away. I walked away because I wasn't sure whether that is the price of the thing. And this is somebody at the end of the month, he said, my salary, my salary, my salary. No. If you are in an office and you want, you want to make sure you are not dancing with the, uh, the stoppers, be sure that you put your best in that office. If you are a child of God, work. if others are messing around, don't join them. You are a child of God. If they call you, ah, you look like Mumu, don't worry. Jesus said, I will reward you. I remember when I was a young officer, a young diplomat. I was given a, pro, a, 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 a very serious uh, portfolio to handle in capital projects. Millions and millions and millions. I was the envy of so many. And so many hated me like hatred. But so I was, I would do my work. So I was one day, I'm, I'm used to working. They have closed. They have gone home. I'm still working. The office is closed 3.30. I don't, once I pick my children from school, I drop them, I go back. I'll be there because I have a lot to do. I, I was handling missions all over the world. Nigerian missions, over 200 and something of them, or 100 and something. And so many. So I had to work. I wasn't asking for anybody. One day, one ambassador just walked into my office. He, sorry, he was not ambassador then. He was the one in charge of what, what we call our confidential department, where they have your confidential reports. He walked into my office. He greeted me. He looked at the time. It was past seven. And I greeted him, sir. And he left. 
The next time, one ambassador came, stood in front of me. Before I realized that he was standing there, it took, maybe he had stood there for five minutes, I didn't remember, because I was constructing the sentence and I was doing calculations. So by the time I raised my head, he was there, I said, ah, sorry, sir. Good evening, sir. I greeted him. And he said, how are you? So it's true that you're always working here. I was, I said, yes, sir. I didn't know whether I did anything wrong. And he left. Then one day, Pam, I saw a letter. You are nominated for National Merit Award. I don't know anybody. I showed you that letter here. Did I not? Remember? This is something they all go and campaign. I did not know anybody. I was doing my work. He earned me that nomination. I'll be working. Others are busy doing everything. I don't care. As long as you do not appreciate other people and appreciate the worth of their investment, you have lost the right to have one. It's automatic. You have stopped yourself. Finish that scripture. Verse 12. And if you are not faithful with other people's things, uh -huh. Why should you be trusted with things of your of own? Your own. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? If you are not faithful with other people's things, why should God give you your own thing? Yeah. I park my car somewhere and one of the people who is supposed to be half Nigerian and half Namibian passed me. And when I came back, one of the enemies of this church, all of them connected to that rocky crest. He has scratched my car. I left it. He did not know that he scratched the life out of his life. He can never own a car again. I just laughed. If you go to my car, you see the scratch. I didn't want to do anything about it. Namibians are very, very, very selfish. Namibians don't care for other people's things. I, I don't want to call any tribe at all. I see it across. It may be more in some other tribe, but I see it across. You don't take ownership of your church. You don't take ownership of anything. As long as it's not yours, it can go to hell. You will lose the right for everything. Some of you are coming to this church because you don't take ownership of this church. The anointing refused to take ownership of you. You have stopped yourself. You will be there sitting in the church, but it will be of no benefit to you. You are dancing with the stoppers. Perfection would be, the others will perfect you, will not. Am I communicating with somebody? You are unfaithful. That's the meaning. You are unfaithful. As long as you are unfaithful, and it happens every day. I'm sorry. You are unfaithful to your wife. You are unfaithful to your husband. You are unfaithful to your children. You are unfaithful to your pastor to your church, to your boss in the office, you are condemned. You are unfaithful to your own nation. Wherever you are, Namibia or anyone, whether you are the president or the laborer on the ground, you are unfaithful. You have lost the right to benefit from that place. It doesn't matter. It's a law of heaven. People are demoted because of that. That's why I laugh at people who go and loot the nation. If you loot the nation, you loot your generation and the next generation. And the next, you will see. How, where is Mobutu? Where is he? How did he die? 
Where is he there? I mean, where did he, how did he die? Shall, do you want me to start talking? What about uh, Philippines? Eh? Marcus? Had the thousands of shoes. How did they die? If you loot, you will be looted. And Namibians are not faithful. Namibians don't take ownership of their country. Namibians don't take ownership of anybody's business. It's just take. Useless is take. As long as it's not mine. Others are chopping. Let me chop. You are committing suicide. Am I talking to somebody? You may not like what I'm saying. I really don't care. I'm preaching the gospel. Yes. In Namibia, we see a car open. You know that if that car opens, the battery, you know very well, not that you don't know, the battery will run down. You come and sit down here. And keep quiet. Later now, after the service has finished, you will hear, calling fire, I receive, fire, I receive, I receive. You go and drop something, the pastor's offering. I receive, I receive, I receive. But you saw that car. And you knew that this car, this person, basically, did not close the door. And you know that the battery will run down. Instead of you to tell Anosha, they say car is out there. I think it's open. The battery, something may happen, or they miss. Don't, you need to go and check it so that they can check it and look for who owns it. They may know the person. No, you can't quite sit down here. After you finish, you are going home. You think, no, you got nothing but a curse. That service is wasted to you. You are dancing with the stoppers. You will never. Own a car. Because when the service finishes, you see that the person wants to start the car, he cannot start. You also start when to go home and go and enter your taxi and go. You will die in taxi. Nothing will stop it. I do, I'm not cursing you. It's the law. You don't help another person's marriage to prosper, you lose the right to marry. And if you are married, you lose the right to have a blissful marriage. Jesus said, do unto others as you want others to do unto you. It's more blessed to give, give love, give care, give understanding, give ownership than to receive. Covenant of suffering and hardship that is over my life. Break and scatter. Break and scatter. Break and scatter. Break and scatter, break and scatter, break and scatter. <laughs> Covenant of failure of my father's house, of my mother's house. Of the school I went to, of the place I grew up, uh, I am not your candidate. Uh, break and die! Break and die! Break and die! Yeah, 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 yeah! Break and die! 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 Eat. Every covenant that makes me watch others overtake me. This way, this way, this way. That covenant of terror that starts and does not finish, you will not operate in my life.
Reke pose katara boke poro po pose ta raka po poro po. Aha, this way, this way, this way. E. Occupying my space in this life. Vacate my fire. Vacate my fire. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. Yes, oh. Vacate. 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 Vacate my fire. Vacate my fire. Vacate my fire. In. Put me in my place. Put me in my place. Aha. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus. If you would like to be born again, all you have to do is pray this simple prayer from your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I surrender my life to you. I believe you died for me. I confess all my sins and renounce every darkness. Be my Lord and Savior and fill me with your precious Holy Spirit. I believe I am now born again. In Jesus' name. For more information about additional sermons, service times, crusades and special programs of Life Changing Christian Church, please contact us on 085-551-5495. If you would like to inquire about our powerful and life-changing spiritual warfare books, please contact us on 081-829-3291. You can also get in touch with us on Facebook or Instagram or visit our online store www.lccstore.com Worship with us at Gemeente Inn corner of David Gorasep and Invokavit Street Katutura near the old Roman Catholic Church at former Vomanbrock Masejo Stay blessed